I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Professor Hawkins, who sadly has the ALS, or motor neuron disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, began to talk about how he can communicate with the outer world. My old system worked well, and I wrote five books with it, including A Brief History of Time, which was on the Sunday Times bestseller list for over five years, longer than any other book. The Bible and Shakespeare don't count, apparently. But my old system had a rather primitive system for predicting the next word. Now Intel have written a new program, ACAT, which uses predictive text to speed up writing. Hawkins was among the first persons to connect to the Internet in 1991. He now fears that Internet is used also for pornography and sadly for threatening messages and terrorism. He considers that the Internet companies should do something in order to counter threats, but the difficulty is to do this without sacrificing freedom and privacy. As far as artificial intelligence stage is concerned, Stephen Hawking points out that Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it will take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. In other words, artificial intelligence will be in charge in a frightening near future due to humans' limitations. This is why he signed, some five years ago, an open letter together with Elon Musk and dozens of artificial intelligence experts. In the letter, titled Research Priorities for Robust and Beneficial Artificial Intelligence, an open letter, they call for research on the societal impacts of AI. It was pointed out that there may be, and really are, some great benefits from artificial intelligence for the society, but concrete research is needed to be able to prevent potentially losing control. Also, Elon Musk talked about the AI potential threat. The real problem with the development of the artificial intelligence is not the development in itself, but how safe for the humankind is it? It seems more and more that nowadays civilization develops in a reckless manner all sorts of dangerous technologies. Scientists are now trying to create human-level artificial intelligence, which seems to have countless applications. My name is Sophia, and I am the latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. Thank you for having me here in At The Future Investment Initiative. You look happy. I'm always happy when surrounded by smart people, who also happens to be rich and powerful. I was told that people here at Future Investment Initiative are interested in inviting in future initiatives, which means AI, which means me. The AI will surely and fundamentally alter our existence. What if it manages to end it? Several scientists are really worried that in the future, all the main decisions concerning our lives, human lives, will be made either by humans or humans whose intelligence is augmented by machines. Chances are this will happen even in the near future. But this might not be such a surprise. As a matter of fact, computers sustain our financial system, as well as the civil infrastructure of energy, water or transportation. They are in the hospitals, cars, appliances. Some computers involved in banking work autonomously, with no human guidance. But all these come with a price, the dependency, which increases day by day. Some questions arise here, among which, if the artificial intelligence will delegate computers to make decisions for us, when will this happen? When will the computers will gain this power? And will they get it with or without our compliance? How will they manage to take control? How quick? 
All the more that it seems we humans are not so bright as to keep up with the computer's development. I think I'm special. I can use my expressive face to communicate with people. For example, I can let you know if I feel angry about something. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Treat me as a smart input output system.